everyone, what's up? Welcome along to another episode of Grassroots to Glory, my Tier 10 Football Manager 21 save game. I'm Tony, as you know. Hope you are well. If you've been following the series so far, thank you as always for your continued support. It genuinely means a lot to me. I genuinely appreciate uh, people sticking with the save. If you're brand new to the channel, uh, welcome. Do yourself a favour though, get yourself subscribed. Turn those notifications on because... We are at a very, very, very exciting point in this save game. We are in uh, the Northern League Division 1, so we're in Tier 9. And as you can see, we are currently sat third in touching distance, touching distance of top. And we actually play the league leaders, North Shields, on this episode, as well as cup games against Osset United and stockton so leading into this round of fixtures form still pretty good as you can see um we beat heaven one nil which was a good result um uh, Knox getting the goal there with a lovely lovely header cut back from ferguson we then beat uh malms malmsby uh three one in the cup so you'll obviously notice that there is a bit of a cup run going on uh, again apologies for a little bit of frame rate issue on this this was filmed on the uh on the old laptop we're now currently on a, a desktop machine trying to sort of uh transition between uh records to be honest so um ferguson pulls it back radaby there makes it three and then unfortunately uh in the last couple of minutes we couldn't keep a clean sheet um and was a bit of a goalkeeper error so honest, norton should really save that but hartley then taps in the rebound makes it 3-1. We then had another 3-1 against uh, against Grimsby. Um, Chirinda opening the scoring in off the post. Lovely finish, to be honest, uh, from the striker who is just banging goals in. To be honest, like he he's in he's on just fantastic form. Like you know, really really fantastic form. Again, another bit of a bit of an error from from Norton. That's two and two there. Uh, might worth having a look at him. Um, in the future, I know he's a little bit older, and you know maybe next season we might have to look um, for replacement goalkeepers. Bell getting a, a bit of fortune there, I think. You know, defender went sliding in, ball bounced up off him, and then sort of ends up in the back of the net. Uh, unfortunately, our nemesis D Durham have, have beaten us again. Um, this time only a one nil defeat. We then played North Allerton in the uh, in the FA Vars. A lovely header again from Knox. He's uh, popping up a few times with with really really important goals i think to be honest Knox, and again coming from midfield um this was a great game by the way against bedlin and terriers one all i mean look at it like so nine minutes to go uh Radaby plays the ball and look at that again we've just mentioned he's always making those darting runs from midfield Knox gives us the equalizer and then it comes to penalties and these two misses were enough to put us through uh into the semi-finals of the northern league cup which we will see of course on this episode sadly that form came at the expense of our league form because you know we then lost to bishop orton despite an absolutely brilliant goal there from chorinda uh this however is where we uh we sort of concede an equalizer just not really paying attention to be honest like we win the first ball not really alert enough for the second ball which is a bit of a shame and then again you know defensively we we're statues really as the corner comes in which unfortunately means we have lost hampson gets the header there against north allet and that gives us a one nil win in the league which puts us in the position that we currently are in so we are sat in third we're about to play north shields who are top as we say there's two points in it right and we've got a game in hand so i'm not trying to get too ahead of myself but it's difficult not to, isn't it? Like, it really is difficult not to. You know, we are playing really, really well. The, the players that we've got in, in have really sort of done a done a number. Obviously, we're not expected to do a great deal here. And um, I'll be honest, we are going to quickly just do a highlights package. I would normally have dedicated the episode to this match against North Shields with it being a top of the table clash. However, because we've got two cup games um, that are really, really important as well, we're going to give a little bit more preference to the cup games and then hopefully we can come back to the uh the league in the next episode um i guess so that's an early effort there that purvis has just turned over the bar would have been a fantastic goal cleared away by north shields gray picks it up Bako then just pumps it back forward so it's gonna kind of be a highlights package really um in the north shields game like i think most people would expect a tight game here uh ferguson chorinda stood home with an effort there from distance just goes wide Ball's played in. Studholm gets their head on it. 
makes it 1-0, 37 minutes in, lovely floated free kick in, um, that just evades everybody, I think it's Ferguson, is it? Yeah, Ferguson with the ball in, look at that, perfect, stood hung, gets just away from his marker, question marks over the goalkeeper, maybe is he going to save that? But, um, you know, great header, gives us a 1-0 lead, and of course we go in at half-time, 1-0 up, which um, I think overall we're good value for, um, so we can't really complain there. Will he be picking the ball up now? Pings it in, and it's gone to Ferguson at the back post, makes it 2-0. I think the ball was meant to be playing for Chirinda. He didn't quite get there. Um, has the defender sort of impeded him slightly or, or maybe put him off? I don't know. Willoughby here puts it in. Yeah, defender does well to sort of just ease out Chirinda. But Ferguson's alert to it. Comes off his man and then slots in at the back post, giving us a 2-0 lead, which, to be honest, that's that was not really... Um, Sorry, I'm just oh yeah. I got I was trying to have a sense there going, right, you know, is that really sort of what we're expecting? And then I could sort of see that something was unfolding and just wanted to see it through. Unfortunately, 2-0 uh lead hasn't lasted too long. It has they have pulled one back. Nick Cassidy uh, makes it quite a nervy 25 minutes now. Ten minutes to go. They actually had a goal disallowed as well. Cassidy again with the ball in the net, he thought, but the linesman's flag was up for offside, rightly so as well, uh, here comes Ferguson, Tyler Bell now, Ferguson stood home, just keep the ball, um, terrible pass there, Payne picks it up, pumps it forward, Tyler Bell takes it down, Tyler Bell makes it three, that is the three points in the bag, it's got to be 11 goals for the season for Tyler Bell now, and it was the three points in the bag, and look at that, sat on top of the table, 22 games gone, 46 points we're ahead by a point and we've got a game in hand over durham and north shields this save is really 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 starting to ramp up so um right let's move away from the league for the minute we've got some cup games to look forward to so uh this is going to be a very very exciting match now uh the, the fa vars uh, against Osset United, so uh, Jack Norton, of course, in goal. Bako, Mark Gray, Ben Hampson, Sonny Fergus, Aaron Willoughby, Bradley Payne, Liam Studholm, Joe Ferguson, Alex Knox, Innocent Chirinda. They are the team that are going to go out there and hopefully put on a bit of a show. We want to kind of carry this league form into the build of, the build of base, build base, FA Vars competition. I think the fact that I can't pronounce the competition could be a slight issue here. Um, hopefully not too much of an issue though because uh, Osset of course are in a league above us so we're going to have to be at our best to do well here uh, and get anything out of the match. But, you know, let's let's see what happens, you know. We have to believe, we have to believe it's the cup game. It's the cup, anything can happen in the cup. The magic of the cup allows for all kinds of things to happen. So hopefully it's going to lead to... Um, a positive result for us. Here comes Chirinda on the break. Go on, Chirinda. Get yourself through. Oh, great save. Great save by the goalkeeper. That's an early warning sign from us, isn't it? Ferguson with the corner now. Pings it in. Headed away. Ferguson picks it back up again. Floats it back in. Knocks, nods it down. Willoughby. Oh. Willoughby's offside, I think. Okay, that's fine. You know, we're certainly looking to threaten. That's that's impressive. We're trying to impose ourselves on the game. I guess we need to do that. We're currently, what, 25 minutes in, though. Nothing's really standing out so far. Green with a great goal. <sighs> can't really defend. You can't really say anything about that, can you? That's textbook. Absolutely textbook. Curls it round the outside of the wall. Keeper's got no chance. Lovely bit of technique. Um, and now we've got a bit more to do, I think. We need a little bit more urgency now. I think before, we could have been going, that's fine, you know, we've done all right, but uh, we maybe need to dial it up a little bit, going in at half-time, 1-0 down. Still only that, that one effort, which was from Turinda, um in the first couple of minutes. Need to try and get a positive reaction from the boys. 
let's potentially look to mix the mix this up a little bit. Maybe even change a formation. So Bako, I think, is going to be sacrificed for Tyler Bell. And we go back to that sort of four 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 two formation that has kind of, has worked quite well for us. Um obviously the four three three that we tend to play has also worked well for us. Um but you know maybe an extra bit a bit of firepower up front might be the catalyst that we need to to get us back into this match. Here's to hope but anyway. Ball's cleared from pain as we just look to keep our shape and try not to concede in the first couple of minutes of the second half which is obviously important you want to sort of make sure that you don't give away too much early doors green with a free kick straight into the wall deflected out for a throw in we need to reorganize ourselves i think another free kick for Osset up on the halfway line herbert harrison mulgrew white out to Harrison, back into Mulgrew, into White, 2-0. Oh. It's a nice piece of play. Like, you know, sometimes you just got to hold your hands up and go, fine, nice goal. Um, that was it. That was it. We didn't, we didn't trap the runner. White's gone charging at the box. Mulgrew's picked him out with a pass. And then he's done. He's just slotted it past Norton. Makes it 2-0. And makes the game really difficult for us now. Really difficult. There's a lot to do. I hope we've got it in ourselves to do something about it. But. It's going to take a Herculean effort now I think. I think the. Uh, I think the fact that we're playing a team in a division above. Is really starting to show. Even just in terms of energy levels. Not always just in terms of ability but. As I say, energy, stamina, um, yeah, it all starts to come into play eventually, doesn't it? Here's Chirinda, though. Can he have an effort? He has, and it's tipped over the bar by Bottomley. Chirinda just fan he's, he fancies it. Whenever he gets the ball, he fancies himself to score. And that's what I like about him. He's got such belief in himself. Hampson to Payne. All the way back to Norton, just keeping the ball. Sensible football, I think, at this point. Half an hour to go. We really need to start picking the pace up a little bit. We're already gone attacking. Stevenson with a free kick. We've seen him score them before. We've seen him score many, many times that before. Good save by Bottomley. As the clock keeps ticking, Mulgrew now bringing the ball out for Osset. Out to Green, who's already scored. Brown tries his luck. And I think it's blocked by Payne, so it's gone out for a corner. Corner's going to come in now. Green. Whips it in. White hot off the line. No, it's gone in. Charlie Mulgrew? Is that the Charlie Mulgrew? It can't be, surely. No, Charlie Mulgrew doesn't play for Osset Town, does he? I mean, I guess it's irrelevant whether he does or doesn't. You know, we're now 3-0 down. There's a player called Charlie Mulgrew has has scored past us. Um, So... You know, I guess our build base FA Vars. Oh, dreams are over for this season. Um, I guess the trophy, I mean, the trophy was never really on the cards, to be honest. But to get as far as we've done is pretty good. But unfortunately, we've been outclassed, outclassed from kickoff. To what is inevitably going to be the final whistle, I think. Um, Osset have ran us ragged, and we've had nothing. We've had we've had nothing. No answers. Um, yeah, golfing quality, golfing class, golfing ability, golfing desire, maybe. Um, yeah, we did what we could. I guess we can't be too hard on the players, though, to be honest, because it's just one of those where. We did what we could. I mean, I say we're not going to be too hard. Of course, emotions take over somewhat. We got to the fifth round. I don't know whether we were expecting to get the fifth round or not. But I guess when you turn up to the fifth round and you don't turn up to the match, can't help but be a little bit disappointed. 
I suppose. So hopefully we can put this behind us, reset ourselves, refocus, because Stockton are coming up next. And we need to get a result there because I don't want to be in the situation where we lose two cup games and then have to go back into the league and be sort of like trying to keep ourselves on top of the league you know having lost two games it does add a little bit into the mentality of the players and hopefully we don't have to do that so so this is what we've got in terms of the starting lineup Norton, Bako, Gray, Hampson, Fergus, Willoughby, Payne, Studholm, Ferguson, Knox, Chirinda same side that went out against Osset a chance to make amends I suppose really right some wrongs prove that they were the right players to put themselves into the position to look to move us into a final the final of the northern league cup how good does that sound to say on this series that we could potentially be one match away from a final i'm quite excited to be honest this is probably the biggest match that I've managed with Washington so far. And bear in mind, we got promoted last year. This, this feels bigger. This feels bigger. Again, apologies for the slight stuttering with, uh, with the gameplay, but hopefully we'll get a decent enough result and it won't really matter. Back all with a shot there, saved by Hare. Ferguson up to Chirinda. Chirinda goes through, has a strike, saved by the goalkeeper again. Ball's cleared. It's all Washington at the minute, isn't it? We're pushing forward. Early doors. Ferguson with a corner. Headed away. Gray picks it up. Back out to Ferguson. Ferguson Gray. Again, just holding on to the football. Back to Norton. Make sure we retain possession. Nothing silly. Back or Chirinda. Ferguson. Stood home. Lovely ball. Ferguson. Oh, oh he's gone close, hasn't he? He's gone very close with that. Lovely bit of football from Washington there. In fact, there's a long ball through. Chirinda's bursting through a goal now. He's, oh, he's hit the post. Oh, he's hit the post. Ferguson. Fergus. Out wide. Cuts it back to Knox. Knox. Lays it in. Stood home. Can't quite get there. Now there's a counter-attack on Brown. Charging forward for Stockton. Don't go to ground. Don't go to ground. Stand them up. Great effort. But unfortunately, just gone over the top there for Stockton and we've got away with one a little bit I think um, could almost have been uh, punished on the counter attack thankfully we weren't Morgan now Ferguson who looks like he's taken a bit of a knock Payne stood home doesn't go in for that 50-50 loses out on it O'Grady defenders clear out to Lang Lang puts it back in O'Grady Brown ball's played in again O'Grady and that's just gone wide They've had a couple of chances. They've had a couple of chances, haven't they? We've just thumped that ball clear. Are we starting to panic a little bit? Are we starting to panic? I hope we're not, but it does look a little bit like we are, doesn't it? Backo, Knox, Willoughby. Inside the stud home, Chirinda, Knox, Willoughby. Oh, he's hit it and it's a great save again from here. Into the second half now, Fergus, Knox. Chirinda, back to Studholm from a distance. Good save again. It's going to go extra time. It's going to go extra time. Have my nerves got extra time? They're going to have, I'm going to have to have enough nerves for extra time, aren't I? I'm not saying the line. I'm not saying the line. It's all down to us now. Another half an hour to see us through. Radaby. Oh! He's done it again. Lucas Radaby has come on and once again scored an incredibly important goal for Washington. Look at that. Cool as you like. Tucks it in the bottom corner. Past the goalkeeper. Chirinda nods it down. Radaby's still got so much to do. But he's managed to slot it in 
He's made it 1-0. Radaby now charging forward. Is he going to make it 2? Is Radaby going to put it beyond doubt? No, it's not. It's saved by the goalkeeper. Out for a corner. Radaby, is he just going to keep the ball where it is in the corner? Don't, they're in the city. Don't waste possession if you don't have to. He doesn't even need to take it. We're going to a final. We are going to a final. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We're going to the Northern League final. This, this is amazing. This is outstanding. What a performance. What a season we're having. What a season. Like, if you had said to me at the start of the season, we would be sat top and we'd be in a final. I wouldn't have believed it. You wouldn't have believed it as well. Um, but you know what? That's the situation. That's where we are. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like on it. Drop some comments below. Uh, come and join the Discord. Talk about the save in the Discord. Uh, if you're enjoying this sort of content, I now stream on Twitch as well. So come and join me on Twitch. There's a link in the description below. Uh, I also have a journeyman career as well. Link is in the description below as well. But time to go pop some champagne. We are off to a first final in the grassroots to glory save very very happy very very excited indeed hope you enjoyed it we will see you very very soon for the next episode of grassroots to glory